You're here because you want to learn how to handle criticism effectively, right? Criticism, whether constructive or harsh, can often feel uncomfortable, but how we choose to respond to it defines how we're perceived and treated from that moment on. But what if you could turn any criticism into a powerful tool for growth? That's what the Mindful Communication Revolution is all about. I'm Stephen Walters, and I'm here to help you strengthen your personal and professional relationships with effective communication strategies that include how to handle criticism. In this video, we're going to explore 10 practical strategies that you can use to handle criticism with confidence so it doesn't feel like you've been gut punched. The key is to embrace any feedback with a mindful approach, staying composed, and turning it into a tool for growth. If you've watched my previous videos, you already know that you need to have a bunch of go-to strategies to help deal with difficult people and situations. That's why this video is one of the most important videos you'll ever watch so that when even the harshest of criticism or negative feedback is aimed at you, you'll have 10 actionable techniques to turn it into another stepping stone for your success. But before you can handle any criticism like a pro, you have to have the right mindset even before you're hit with that sometimes stinging criticism. That's why the first and most crucial step is to subscribe to the channel and make sure you throw a thumbs up to show that you like this kind of content too. And checking your mindset even before you hear the criticism by approaching it mindfully and deciding how you'll interpret and respond to it. Are you going to see it as a personal attack or as an opportunity to grow? A defensive mindset will keep you stuck, but a growth mindset will move you forward. In other words, are you willing to keep an open mind and see if there's insight that can help you improve or not? Let's say you've just published a video and someone comments, this is boring, you have no charisma. Instead of letting it hit your self-esteem, ask yourself, how can I make my next video more engaging? Notice I didn't dwell on the negative parts of the criticism. I went straight to finding a solution. That's the mindset shift you need. Take this feedback as a challenge to improve. Break down what makes content engaging by watching successful creators in your niche. Pay attention to their energy, pacing, and storytelling techniques. Then experiment with incorporating one or two of these elements into your next video. Record yourself practicing your delivery and analyze it for areas of improvement. Use this criticism as a tool to sharpen your presentation skills and elevate your content. Now that your mindset is primed to handle feedback constructively, let's move to the next essential step in navigating criticism effectively, understanding the source and nature of the criticism. Tip number two, consider the source and nature of the criticism. Not all feedback is created equal. Is it coming from a trusted mentor, a loyal viewer, or someone just seeking to provoke a reaction? Knowing the source helps you determine whether it's feedback you can learn from or just noise you should ignore. Here's a good example. Imagine a mentor you respect saying, your videos lack a clear narrative. They're all over the place. Now that stings, but this is someone whose opinion matters. Instead of feeling defensive, recognize that this is valuable insight. They're giving you a roadmap for improvement. But what about a different scenario? Say a viewer comments, your content is trash and you have no idea what you're talking about. That's harsh. But instead of taking it personally, consider the source. Is this someone who offers specific points you can learn from or are they just venting their frustration? Don't let vague, hostile feedback derail you. Focus on what you can control. If the critique isn't constructive or specific, remind yourself it's just noise. Instead, look for patterns across multiple comments. Are there repeated concerns about your content's clarity, quality, or style? Use those patterns to identify genuine areas for growth and keep your focus on the feedback that really matters. Now that you've determined whether the criticism is even worth your attention, the next step is to truly engage with it. This next step is where real growth begins. You need to go beyond just hearing the feedback. You need to listen actively to every word because that brings us to tip number three, listen actively. And I mean really listen. Even if you're reading a comment, you need to fully engage with that feedback. Don't just skim over the feedback or mentally prepare your defense while you read. Actually listen to what's being said or written. Now, this is important. Imagine that the words are not being spoken directly to you, but only to the work. Here's an example. Let's say someone writes, your editing is too choppy. It's hard to follow. Instead of dismissing it as nitpicking, hear those words in your mind. Imagine the person saying them directly to your work and you're just an observer paying close attention. This way, you're not just absorbing the surface level of the comment, but understanding the emotion and frustration behind it. 
Actively listening means putting aside your ego and being open to improvement. After hearing the feedback, ask yourself, is there a pattern here? Have others said the same thing? If you're a content creator, check your analytics. Are viewers dropping off at certain points in your videos? If so, take the feedback seriously. Experiment with smoother transitions, tighter cuts, or better pacing. The goal is to find what keeps your audience engaged and make the necessary adjustments. And speaking of feedback, I want to hear from you right now. What do you think about what I've shared so far? Drop your critiques in the comments below. Please be specific. I'm listening and I'm ready to improve. Your insights will help me make future content even better for you. Now that you've sharpened the art of truly listening to feedback, it's time to go a step further. Don't just accept what you hear or see. Dig deeper and uncover the real value of the criticism. That leads us to tip number four, ask clarifying questions. Here's where things get interesting. Don't just accept criticism at face value. For meaningful growth, dig deeper and ask clarifying questions that help you uncover actionable insights from the feedback. Imagine someone from your mastermind group saying, your videos lack focus, they feel scattered. Instead of feeling discouraged or jumping to conclusions, ask them, can you point out specific parts where it felt that way? Or what would help make the content feel more cohesive to you? A trusted group member's feedback often holds valuable insight, but only if you take the time to dig deeper and ask the right questions. Focus on asking open-ended questions rather than simple yes or no questions. Open-ended questions like, what specifically didn't work for you? Or how do you think I can make this clear? Can encourage more detailed responses and provide you with more actionable feedback. In contrast, yes or no questions like, did you like it or was it clear? Can shut down the conversation and limit the depth of the feedback you receive. Use these clarifying questions to get to the heart of the criticism. If you find specific areas mentioned repeatedly, it's time to refine your process. Consider outlining your videos more carefully tightening your scripts, or focusing on a single core message per video. By clarifying, you turn vague feedback into specific actionable steps that can drive real improvement. So you've clarified the feedback, asked the right questions, and now you're getting somewhere. But here's where most people stumble. They let it get personal. You're already gaining ground by digging deeper and engaging with the criticism. But the next step is where you separate those who thrive from those who crumble. That's why tip number five is absolutely critical. Separate yourself from the criticism. Now, for one of the toughest, most crucial steps, separate yourself from the criticism. It's not about you, it's about the work. Taking criticism personally clouds your judgment. When you separate yourself from it, you're better able to engage constructively and improve your work. Criticism isn't a reflection of your worth. It's an opportunity to elevate your content. Here's an example. Let's say a viewer comments, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, it's easy to feel attacked, but remember, this is about the content, not your worth as a creator. Instead of reacting emotionally, think, is there a point here that I can address with better research or more thorough explanations? Practice separating your self-worth from your work. One way to do this is by creating a critique filter. This is a simple mental checklist that simply asks, is this feedback specific and actionable? Is it coming from a reliable source? If the answer is yes, use it to improve. If not, let it go. Before we move on, let's quickly recap. We've already covered that you need to check your mindset, consider the source and nature of criticism, listen actively, ask clarifying questions, and separate yourself from the criticism. These first five tips are the foundation for managing feedback effectively. But now it's time to step up your game even further with the last five ways to handle criticism like a pro so you can start understanding criticism on a deeper level. When you can see things from your critic's perspective, you gain the power to respond calmly and turn even the harshest feedback into constructive insight. That's what makes tip number six, practicing empathy, so essential. Put yourself in the critic's shoes. Why might they be giving this feedback? Are they trying to help you or are they just projecting their frustrations? Understanding their perspective can help you respond calmly and constructively. Here's a really good example. Let's say someone comments, this video is way too long and boring. Hopefully not. Instead of feeling defensive, take a moment to think, why might they feel this way? Maybe they're just juggling a hectic schedule and are looking for quick, impactful content. By understanding this, you realize that their feedback isn't just an attack. It's a reflection of their needs and circumstances. Start by acknowledging their perspective. I hear you. Not everyone has the time for longer videos. I'll consider how I can make my content more concise in the future. Practicing empathy 
not only de-escalates tension, but also opens the door to meaningful dialogue. It makes your viewers feel heard and valued, which can build a stronger, more engaging community. Empathy helps you connect with your critic, but growth happens when you recognize the truth in their words. What if that feedback, even the harshest, contains a lesson you need? Don't just see their perspective, find the value in it. That's where tip number seven comes in. Acknowledge valid points. It's easy to feel attacked and defensive when someone points out your flaws, but acknowledging when a critic has a valid point, that shows maturity and a willingness to learn. Here's an excellent example. Let's say a viewer comments, your audio quality is distracting. It's hard to focus on your message. Don't just brush it off. Think about the viewer's experience. Maybe they're listening in a noisy, hectic environment or expect higher quality sound. Respond with, you're right, I need to improve my audio. This response shows you care about their experience and are committed to making improvements. Make a habit of scanning feedback for valid points. Instead of dismissing critiques outright, ask yourself, is there truth in this? Create a list of actionable changes and tackle them one by one. When your audience sees you taking action, they're more likely to engage constructively in the future. Recognizing valid points is a powerful step towards growth, but there's another layer most people overlook. What if you went beyond just acknowledging the feedback and actually thank the person giving it? It might sound counterintuitive, but showing appreciation, even for tough criticism, can transform the entire interaction. Surprising, right? That's the secret behind tip number eight. Thank the critic. Thanking someone for their feedback, even when it's tough to hear, shows confidence, humility, and professionalism. It flips the script and can completely change the dynamic of your interactions. Here's an example. Let's say a viewer leaves a comment like, your presentation was confusing and hard to follow. Instead of getting defensive, reply with something like, thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate you taking the time to help me improve. This simple act of gratitude can turn a critic into a supporter. Make it a habit to thank critics publicly and sincerely, even for harsh feedback. Gratitude can diffuse negativity. It also encourages more thoughtful feedback in the future, helping you to continue to grow and improve. Gratitude can turn critics into allies, but if you respond too quickly, you risk undoing all the goodwill you've built. Stay in control and keep the positive momentum going by managing your response time. That's tip number nine. Don't react immediately. Speaking of reacting immediately, stay with me. There's this one more tip after this that will make all of this worth watching to help you handle criticism like a pro. The first reaction to criticism is often emotional, and that's rarely productive. When you react right away, you're more likely to respond defensively or impulsively. Instead, give yourself some time to cool off and think it through. Here's an example that happens sometimes a little too often. Let's say you receive a harsh comment moments after publishing a new video. Your first instinct might be to fire back, but what if you pause and take a breath instead? Say, give yourself two to four hours before responding. This delay gives you time to reflect and respond thoughtfully. Sometimes people leave negative comments just to provoke a reaction. By not reacting immediately, you maintain control over the situation and avoid giving them the satisfaction. Create a personal rule on how long you're going to wait to respond to negative feedback. Use that time to draft your response, then revisit it with a clear mind before posting it. This simple strategy helps you control your emotions and approach criticism more rationally, ensuring your response is thoughtful and effective. Remember, patience is your secret weapon against those who just wanna be nasty and start an argument, and that's just not worth your time. I'd love to hear if you have a go-to strategy for staying calm when facing tough feedback. Taking a moment right after this video to leave that comment can also help keep the conversation going. Besides, your input could help someone else deal with those same difficult situations when they're having to deal with a harsh critique. Taking a pause, a breath, or a thoughtful moment helps keep you calm and in control, but that's just the beginning. Criticism is only useful if you take action on it. Feedback is only as valuable as what you do with it. That's why the final and most crucial tip is to reflect and act on it. Self-reflection is critical, but action is what turns criticism into growth. Don't just sit on the feedback, take it to heart and use it to make tangible improvements. Here's a really good example. If multiple viewers mention that your videos could use more structure, don't just acknowledge it and move on. Reflect on what they're saying. Is there a pattern? Then take action, perhaps by outlining your videos more carefully or using new editing techniques to add a higher level of clarity and flow. After receiving feedback, set aside time each week to reflect on what you've learned 
and make a list of potential improvements. Start taking action one step at a time. Growth happens through consistent effort and a willingness to adapt. So there you have it. The final five strategies to handle criticism like a pro. Practice empathy, acknowledge valid points, thank the critic, don't react immediately, and reflect and act. When combined with the first five strategies, you've got a complete toolbox to turn any feedback into growth and success. And your success is the goal. By mastering these 10 techniques, you're not just handling criticism, you're transforming it into a powerful tool for clearer, more meaningful communication. And if you're dealing with difficult people or tricky situations, I've got the perfect video on your screen right now that you need to watch next that'll help you learn how to navigate those challenges with confidence. Let's keep growing and improving together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.